The Division of Global Health and the Medical Spanish Initiative at EVMS partnered with Floating Doctors, an organization that has been committed to providing sustainable health care to some of the most remote communities here in Panama over the past decade. We were able to divide into two different teams to provide care in two separate communities. Half of our group went to the Cayo de Agua. And the other half came here to Playa Verde, where we are now, to provide care similarly for three days in an open air clinic. We're here in Cayo de Agua doing a multi day clinic. We are sleeping here in, in the school in hammocks. We wake up, go get breakfast, and then set up because by the time we get back, to the school, there's already a line outside uh, waiting for us. We're kind of practicing medicine on the, on the bare bones. You really have to rely on your physical exam skills and your differential diagnosis. Being able to teach that part of medicine you know, to the students um, has been a really awesome experience and seeing them kind of light up as something kind of clicks for them. Mm -hmm. The baby's moving. So, what we better for us we just finished seeing an obstetric patient. It's very gratifying here because most of them, or many, have not received prenatal care. This woman is having her 10th baby and seeing the ultrasound for the first time. Can you see the ultrasound? Here, it's moving. It took a lot to earn the trust here. You know, every outside group that they've interacted with since Columbus pretty much has been along the lines of, we really like your land. Now you just scoot on off of it because it's ours now. It took years of really like showing, no, we're really serious. We're not trying to, you know, convert you. We don't want your vote. We don't want your land. We're just here to provide services and to help. And the nice thing about that is our short-term volunteers, who are here for even one week, enjoy the same level of trust that it took us seven years to build. You know, I think it's hard when there's sort of like a dichotomy between the beauty of the landscape and then a lot of the suffering that people have. It looks like a paradise, but then yet we're here and there isn't running water, there isn't electricity, um, people haven't seen a doctor in years. Well, this is definitely an eye-opening experience, that's for sure. I think that's why I had an experience like this, is to get a better understanding of where my patients come from. Oh, one of this? So one time, one operation. Don't ask the Lord. I wrote my first prescription today. I also gave my first depo shot. Something that I learned yesterday is how much um, simple things can impact the health of a community. For example, you know, we see scabies, which is a parasitic disease, insects that burrow in the skin once in a blue moon in the U.S. Yesterday I saw 10 cases of it because the people here had not been able to bathe because there had been a drought. And all of their water resource for bathing and drinking water is rain you know, catching and filtering rain. And so they had been five weeks without rain, and most of them had been three weeks without having a bath. I couldn't be more pleased with how this is turning out, and I hope it's something that we get to do again. I think the students are at a point in their education, and their professional development, where they're really taking on the role and making it their own. And these sorts of experiences, when they're in that impressionable stage of defining who they are, who they will be as physicians, are vital are so important and to see how excited they have become, how compelled they are by the issues facing the communities that we're serving just fills me with hope and fills me with pride in seeing that these are budding physicians that will be committed to their communities, be that in eastern Virginia or eastern Panama, um, and that they'll do it well and that they'll do it together. <laughs>